Welcome back to Australia. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Good to be back. You, you were becoming regulars. You were here this time last year. You mm -hmm. did Falls, you did uh, Sydney Festival. How are you feeling being back? Yes, yeah, it's, it's really good to be back. We were expecting a bit more from the weather, but yeah, we had a really good gig last night and a bit hungover today. But. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going with water tastes I want. I'm going where the water the Gold Coast the other day. Um, yeah, it was alright actually, but it started raining and I think everyone like buggered off after that. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't too bad, but could have been better. I think. It was the first gig of the tour as well, so you sort of you need to do a few gigs to sort of warm up again. So. You warmed up now, you played the Metro Theatre last yeah. night, it was yeah. packed out, people were dancing all over the place. I imagine those are the sort of shows that, that do work best for you, the people that, that get dressed up or are ready for your music and uh, yeah, yeah. aren't there to, to throw beers at one another in a, in a rainy crowd. <laughs> I don't but think there was any room to move last night or throw any beers. I think the music works for like anyone really, it's just like, it's just like music to like have fun to really. So, but we usually get like a really like mixed crowd anyway, like, um, so it's not always like people who are dressed up or whatever, like like normal people, you know what I mean? Yeah. There was there was a bit of everyone there last night and um, <coughs> now tell me a bit about your stage show. How does it come together where you decide who does what for what song? Does it go back to the recording process from the songs or are the songs recreated for the live environment in that respect? Um no, when we're writing a song, we'll just kind of get together and, and sort of just play and see what happens and we'll kind of swap around and see who wants to play what. Because we all play um, our instruments differently from each other, obviously, but um, in our own way, so we just kind of see who fits what thing best. But yeah, it's all the same for, for live and recording. Um, yeah. Are there any instruments you can't play? It seems like you <coughs> you can dabble in pretty much anything. Um, I'd love to play the saxophone and... Like and like some wind instruments, but I like to get better at piano and things, you know. We might see that pop up in a future record. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We've got an amazing um, trumpet. Do you say trumpet, trumpeter, on stage? Um, trumpet player. Tell me. I, I, don't, I don't know who he is. Tell me how he's involved. Uh, well, we met him a while ago at um, a party, and he was playing there. And we kind of wanted like a, a trumpet anyway for a couple of the songs and then we just saw him and thought he's the man for the job. Um, so yeah, we like reeled him in and he's been with us ever since. But he's like a Jamaican guy and he's like a legend really. He's played with like so many people. Uh, yeah, it's an honour to have him with us. He lost his voice yesterday. Yeah, and. Uh, he still was screaming and shouting. Are you already working on new material? We probably should be working on new stuff at the moment, but um, we're not. So, <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully soon we'll kind of get our act together and um, start writing some some new stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go to America later on in the year. So, <laughs> which we haven't really. Done, we haven't really been there to do our own shows much, so it uh, be interesting to see how it goes down there. What are your impressions of, of touring America from what you have experienced so far? Um, very expensive <laughs> to do, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really good fun because everywhere you go is completely different to the next place, you know what I mean? Like um, in like, England, like, everywhere's pretty much the same. When Europe, Everything's pretty much the same except for a different language, if you know what I mean. And then, like, you go to America and everywhere's, like, completely different. Like, you know, you can discover so much. It's kind of exciting to think what will come out when we start writing the next album, because Smoking in Heaven was so different to the first one. So, uh... Yeah, we'll see what happens. 
I'd say like on the first one it was more or less songs we'd grown up with playing and like we kind of got them out of the way by making that first album and then the second one was just like we'd done all that so we just had to write our own stuff so it was more like it was more just what was within us so we got like more influences of like uh, West Indian well uh, ska music um, yeah it's a bit, bit more like I don't know things are a bit more kind of a bit more produced I think on that record moving forward would you record in the same manner for the next record would you still do it in your in your home studio yeah I mean it's the only like uh, studio that we're comfortable with really like just like sound wise just it works for us like we've tried recording like in various places and like uh, just like the setup the setup we have now and we've built up over like the years uh, we're like happy with the sound uh, so yeah I think we'll stick with it and we can keep making it better as well so. well we look forward to seeing whatever comes next from you and hope the weather gets a bit better for you on this tour it's, yeah, okay. uh, it is. So far. well we're off to Melbourne next so apparently it's a bit more sunny there so. it's usually the opposite of the <laughs> Thank you very much for your time and yeah, enjoy the rest of your time here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.